good evening. Welcome to the planning board of February 10th. Um, we have a very short agenda, which is a happy situation for most of us and unusual. Um, the first item on the agenda is the proposed town meeting articles, car washes in the district. Business district. Yeah. This is when we, uh, at Zach, finished discussing a while ago and put on, you know, on deck for <laughs> planning board and then forgot to bring it to you. So essentially, <clears throat> there was there was a there was a car wash um, uh, bylaw proposed or bylaw changes proposed last year, which you may recall, where we were eliminating it in downtown and adding it in industrial lane and there was a lot of discussion about it and um, the upshot from that discussion at least the way I took it and the way a lot of people took it was that people were fine with eliminating it from downtown because it doesn't belong in downtown there's no space for it but they weren't sure about adding it to industrial lane so we thought we will just introduce this to delete it from the downtown zoning district downtown business district um, as as a allowed use, so that's it. I was going to ask you guys to do that. They never got around to it. <laughs> so we added a placeholder, and then the plant that board votes so we can fully. Uh, we added a placeholder before we turned around. John snuck it in. <laughs> <laughs> To the and to the public forum, I guess. I think it's a great idea. I think after town meeting last year, we were joking about car washes not being allowed on South Street. And I said, Oh, great, we turned down the parking lot availability space and back to the town hall. Turn down that auction. I said, "Oh, great! That's they're going to put a car wash there next." <laughs> so I think this is great. <laughs> it's just the traffic is. It's not a good situation. The traffic is just too much. Yeah. It's a tiny bit off topic, but I think that the approach to Zach. I've been pondering that a lot. The new approach to Zach. I think it's really starting to really reap a lot of rewards. And, and uh, while I know you didn't necessarily remember it right away because it was it was down that front, but it's ready and prepared and ready to go, um, which I really appreciate. I like the continuity aspects of the new. Yes. institutional knowledge and all. one thing I'm doing for Zach is keeping all of the past or most recent past um, articles on our work plan so I can refer to them easily and I don't have to search the past minutes and so we can easily review as a group what's been done before and what wording was changed and what the discussion at the town meeting was and so on so it's a great idea it's a current with what the, the town is thinking about I just have a question to pose to the group through the chair, and, and I, I realize I may be in the, in the minority here, but um, I actually do see benefits in car washes. Um, I don't think the downtown area is the right place for a car wash, but I'm just wondering if people have perspective on if they were going to put a car wash someplace, um, where would they put it? And if, you, if your answer is, I don't, I don't want car washes anywhere, then 
so be it. But I, I just, that's what I struggle with a little bit here. And I was a big proponent of, I actually was supportive of having them on South Street. And I thought that if I eliminated them from the downtown project, that just made more sense to me. But I'm, I'm curious what other people think. I could place down on um, West Main Street, um, South Street area where the industrial complex is. Ben Perry's property down there. There's a lot of um, vacant lots down there, and that might go down there. Okay. But from a zoning perspective, is that terribly different from the industrial area? I think it is industrial area, is it? Mm -hmm. I forget which is either industrial area or it's some sort of. Is it by Parkwood Drive? Yeah, Parkwood that Drive. Is, uh, looks like industrial B. Oh, you, you might have missed sight. <laughs> so I said, how the point of having them on South Street area? Oh, yes. I think most of us were, it's just town meeting was not. So uh, we could, but it seems like we shouldn't try the exact same thing again for two years in a row. So we could, so I think this is a good Except for the fact that the, when we were proposing it before, it was more of a, they were suggesting that it was a reserve junction zone. So it, you know, it wasn't. I think um, down by Park Street, it's not. Oh, an industrial beat, yeah. So it's industrial beat along Parkwood, and then it's um, rural business along Main Street for like one property back. But just to, I, uh, you know, again, maybe I'm way off, but you have that behemoth of a, uh, of a gas station that you were invited to approve. Um, and that would be a place for it, right? Right off the okay. highway, right? Um, and that would actually, in my mm -hmm. mind, that would that would increase the value of that property. I don't understand taking a small gas station and making a huge gas station with no uh, real improvement of, of service. You know. so, but so I'm not opposed to gas stations and to car washing, but I'm particularly not opposed to them because I think that they have their place in in uh, ecology, right? And using water and reusing water. Recycle. <coughs> The way that uh, homeless at home, or those of you at home that wash your cars, <laughs> uh, might not recycle water. Yeah. So, yeah, some of the things that we discussed last year before it was about the, you know, the, the technology that it has to be, you know, the highest level of conservation <coughs> of water, etc. Um, but the other thing that we also discussed sometime in the last year. Um, was the types of businesses that we are trying to attract to the town. And those were, you know, it was not, you know, a foregone conclusion, which is we went through a process and came to the, the point of um, we are trying to attract um, uh, job businesses that offer relatively high paid professional jobs, uh, high density jobs. So, Car wash provides neither high density nor high paying jobs, mm -hmm. but also, of course, you know when you have the high high um, profile jobs, that you also need to have services along with those to that. So restaurants and for you know, house hotels and things like that. Um, and so car washes, and car mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I just looked it up and it had 66 percent of people last year. It just needed 67 percent. Yeah. So there's a lot of yeah, I think that it was combined. It was not necessarily. And, and I agree. I think that I'm glad you looked it up because it didn't feel like people were over. Some people were very close, but they made articulate arguments. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. 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 So I can associate this to how we did no drive through rule. Like, we don't want to be like every other big town, every other big town, right? So I'm just curious as to how you so can have, this. So we have drives. So in the case, like what I mentioned, gas stations we are asking business. We're not opposed to drive um, It's it would be in that case it would be an accessory use like banks and that was kind of a big deal for somebody to have a drive up with a drive through the area. I think that um, and I don't mean to be speaking for everybody, but I think that no drive throughs is really to eliminate sort of the fast food um, attraction and Often the trash associated with that, and just the, uh, the the destination for a drive-through restaurant is how I picture. However, it has been the subject of uh, pretty robust conversation at the Board of Appeals over time. Like, bank was denied drive-through up on South Street at first, um, and appealed and got the drive-through. 
So it's not, you know, you may be right, or you may, you may have a more nuanced. No, I kind of agree with you that it was I'm just saying, I think that's something I would like to put down. Me too. Me too. Me too. Uh, but I, I guess I just don't I know that you drive through a car wash to make it work, but I guess I don't necessarily associate that with, in my mind, that's the class of drive. It's more traffic, right? Yeah, but I don't know if it's more traffic. For me, just think of it too. I don't know if it's more traffic than a gas station mm -hmm. tracks, and it's right off the highway there, I mean, that's part of the, the conversation for the gas station to go in there. In general, a car wash is a small footprint, mm -hmm. and if you look at it in terms of cars per hour, I realize that we see them sometimes on a Saturday morning on a Sunday in February, um, the, the line can be backed up a little bit, but yeah. the impact is low. Thank you. Oh, I think you're right about the back of traffic. I think a lot of it is traffic. The opposition was traffic. Because you go through some of these, like Marlboro and Shrewsbury and some of the other things, these, this traffic is backed up in a queue, yeah, like 20 yeah. cars along yeah, well, that's on Route 20 or, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, you know, wherever. And I think it's more of an inconvenience to people and a fear factor that, oh gosh, I don't want to get into an accident trying to pass this queue. Right, or be waiting. Thank you. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so I think it was a combination. Yeah. <laughs> From what I remember, uh, maybe from my perspective, this is kind of the main of the committee viewpoint was it wasn't, this is before the committee, but it wasn't so much the type of business, it was the, uh, like we were really seeing the, the trash associated with people driving through and not taking care of the trash. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was the sole reason that, that, that I remember it, that was the cause. People might have felt otherwise, but um, I think we should be careful of saying what. I think we can want to generalize. I think it's a really good point that it would come up another time. Mm -hmm. There was a whole other conversation on it. But at the time we got I, I remember oh, marching in a, in a horrible spray, 4th of July. But the room back in the day, when we were picketing against, there was the, the Golden Spoon was going to that up. I say we. Some people were picketing, and I, I was opposed to a fast food restaurant going in there myself personally. I wasn't actually carrying a sign, but um, I did support that effort. I didn't really want, I didn't want to lose the Golden Spoon for a white or McDonald's myself personally. I thought that that just changed a lot of what I liked about how we did so One last thing um, about um, just exactly general. Um, the other aspect that this represents, this uh, this bylaw, is that um, we're trying to focus on um, not combining, not combining a lot of changes into one warrant. Basically, one warrant at a time. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, we learned the lesson, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. So, all those in favor of adding this to the warrant at the public hearing, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Nay. When is the uh, when is the public hearing done? I know you said morning. Huh? March ninth. March ninth. Which will, is that a big meeting at this point? Um. So March 9th we've got the hearings, uh, public hearings, and then um, the All right. All right. So the uh, public hearing is scheduled just right now to vote. Who might be listening uh, for March 9th at our meeting, and that's when the public is invited. To fully and completely uh, give this its first, its first scrub, uh, uh, all all the zoning articles uh, before time of the day. Is that seven or seven? It's to seven thirty. Who would be at seven? I think seven thirty. Yeah. I just want to start spreading the word. Yeah, a hundred percent. Rather than our commitments now, we're going to have to tell you. Yep. And if we remember from last year, it was a great process that we understood where some of the questions were, we understood where some of the pushback was going to be, and it helped us prepare for town meeting, and maybe we can make the gardens better. Yep. <clears throat> okay. John, the approval not required for 149A in row. So this is the pink house in row, if anyone's familiar with that. Um, they're basically taking, so it's two lots, I think the pink house is on 
the smaller lot with the big lot that goes back. And they're cutting out from that big lot to make the pink house on a conforming lot and then making the larger lot that goes back essentially on the floor. This is the vacant pink house. Thanks. They could if they get a zoning variance. Who's on either side of them? Because there's not a starvation. I'm sorry, yeah, there's not a starvation. Right. Mm -hmm. The town owns the part. Yes. That's not the other side. The town owns the stuff behind, right. so that to the, what is it, the north. To the north. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. The north. And then I start from the right. So some of this is on that. So this dotted lot line is the existing lot line? Gasket reference and then uh, those are 
websites ever he has provided. He not posted yes